Siraj, hey, congratulations. Second season of How I Met Your Father. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, it's it's terrific. It is a fun show, but I we want to hear it from you. Is what do you think is the secret to success for How I Met Your Father? I think um the secret of success for How I Met Your Father is the balance between um the ode to the uh you know the pre uh, to how I met your mother and uh keeping it fresh and alive enough and keeping it honest and truthful enough to the time we live in and what we've set out to do. As long as we can create the tone and keep it consistent and live these people's lives, uh, I think we'll be just fine. That is terrific to hear. So what is the biggest enjoyment of playing Sid for you? I mean, my biggest en enjoyment uh, uh, playing Sid is most definitely trying to understand this person who, you know, for a long time was going one way with his life, decided to make cup, take a risk, to, uh, open up a bar. And uh, uh, another thing to explore that's super fun is his love and loyalty towards both his friends um, and his wife. Uh, I think it's beautiful. It's super fun. And for me, being on the show, the most fun thing is most definitively, uh, you know, collaborating and spending time with and hanging out with uh, the beautiful cast and crew uh, of this show. They're fantastic human beings. And it's just, oh, it's always fun. Are, are you kind of glad that... Uh... Your character is a bartender rather than a doctor, so this way you don't have to memorize, you know, long words. <laughs> yeah, I've never played a doctor in anything, and um, you know, maybe one day I will. But thus far, I'm pretty happy with it. I think uh, the part bartender job is pretty fun too, because you know you get to immerse yourself in everybody's stories, everybody's lives. You see parts of everything, um, and as a person, me myself, I'm a fly on the wall, so. I like to position myself in rooms in such a way that I can immerse myself in everything. And so does Sid. So I get to watch everybody's beautiful performances and be part of it. So it's great. So what do you really know about bartending in real life? Um, I did a couple of uh, classes and stuff, uh, learned how to make a couple of drinks, talked to a bunch of my friends who were bartenders in New York, um, learned what they see, what the life is like, what is the true stresses, what is the fun little insides you can do, the games bartenders play, uh, you know, as people walk in, walk out, the clientele, the kind of people who become regulars, who to watch out for. Uh, so I've had a lot of conversations about these things. So, uh, you know, that's been that's been fun because you also hear so many funny stories. Um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> now, fans of the show would always... They probably will always ask you is like, what are the other castmates are like when the cameras are off? Truly, honestly, everybody is tremendously different and everybody is tremendously uh, in sync with each other. It's a fun and beautiful thing. You know, we can immerse ourselves in each other's lives and have fun. And at the same time, we have the space. If we want to walk away, just do our own thing live in the moment, whatever, we can do whatever. It's beautiful. Um, everybody has their own kind of being, you know, like, uh, for example, Tien, everybody loves Tien. Tien loves everybody. She's, she's like a social butterfly. She's super funny, super smart. Uh, Francia, you know, has no dearth of knowledge. She does all her yoga. She has, she can talk about a hundred different things, but she likes to be by herself sometimes too. Um, Hillary, um, you know, she she's a businesswoman. She's a mom. She's a producer on the show. She's also the lead. So she lives those multiple lives at the same time. Everybody has their own thing. You know, Chris is into photography. He carries his camera around. He takes these beautiful images of all of us. Everybody is super interesting. Everybody does their own thing. And everybody's great together as well. Um, you know, we also like are very good with the uh, with all the guest stars that appear uh, that come to the show because, you know, it, it is a, it's kind of tough to come on to a show for a, a couple of days and try to vibe in or fit in or understand how we're doing this and get into the creative zone. So we create like a safe environment for them too. It's great. It's really great. It's it's super healthy. <laughs> it's super fun. Do you, did you had a favorite guest star on the show uh, so far yourself? Uh, Michael's probably the one I, uh, and Josh. I mean, Josh, I don't know if you can consider him that. Um, but uh, the two of them were great. Uh, and we, uh, you know, uh, 
kicked it off, you know, on good terms, good conversations, talking about a bunch of stuff. And they've been fantastic. And they're great actors, too. And, you know, there's stuff to learn from them. So it's fantastic. I know Neil Neil Patrick Harris was uh, one of the guest stars on the show. But uh, but if I recall, you didn't get to meet him, did you? No, but, you know, I would have loved to. And I only heard really, really good things. Um, how much of a professional he is, uh, how charismatic he is, how confident, how chill, how well versed in this uh, medium uh, that we're trying to work within. Um, so only good things. Maybe next time. <laughs> Most excellent. One one of the things uh, we have to distinguish about Sid compared to the other characters is that he has a long distance relationship. How do you like this uh, story um, trajectory compared to other characters on the series? Oh, I love it. I love it because um, truth be told, Sid's the only one with a working uh, romantic relationship. You know, it's it's the only work that uh, the, the only one that seems to be surviving. Uh, and seems to be healthy um and and that's beautiful um it creates like uh an offset from everybody else's lives um my relationship with ashley uh who plays hannah is is terrific so getting to work with her spend time with her is 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 a joy she's a great actor just a great human being um so it's fantastic now i guess that begs the question can long distance relationships actually work though I think they can, um, as long as they end at some point and become a, just a normal relationship, because you can't be long distance forever, I don't think. Um, but I, I do know people that, like, you know, dated long distance for, like, five years and are married and totally happy. Um, it depends on what you want from your life, what you have with your partner, and how well you communicate. What 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 do you hope that, uh, that the, you know, the, the showrunners and the writers take the Sid and Hannah journey uh, down the road? Well, I'd love it if they could be together because um, uh, it's just working with her is such truly a pleasure. Like, I really, really enjoy working with Ashley. Um, uh, but, and if it weren't that case, uh, I hope, you know, uh, Sid gets put into some kind of super uh, odd situation where his kind of life is disrupted and he is uh, put outside of his comfort zone. Um, that would be super fun to play. It always... You know, it is fun to play people who are outside of their comfort zone. I think Sid is super uh, settled in his uh, circumstance, which is fantastic. Um, but, you know, uh, stirring up the pot wouldn't be that bad. It sounds fun, too. So does comedy come natural for you? I think I'm naturally pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> but doing there's a big difference between being funny in person and um acting funny i think it's it's massively different there's a huge you know there's a lot of craft in it uh, a lot of learning and i'm still learning i i do think as a performer i'm uh more uh comfortable in drama i i love drama but learning comedy and learning with uh, such masters and like uh you know and peers is is a beautiful uh thing that uh, i needed i from the beginning of my career wanted to try everything and learn from everything that I can learn from to create my own, uh, you know, whatever system or process of doing this. Um, and uh, comedy in a, uh, you know, in this hybrid sitcom style is something I never got to do, always wanted to do, and I'm super happy to do it. It's putting me outside my comfort zone and I'm learning a lot. Most excellent. Excellent. Well, one more thing before I let, let you go, because uh, being a, a South Asian person like yourself, um, it's a rarity that we see South Asians in, uh, you know, in comedy series. Um, can you remark about that and how proud of, of you being in a comedy series like this? Well, I think on the contrary, being South Asian and finding yourself in the comedy space is mostly the case. I think most of the time, uh, uh, you're placed in the comedy field. Um, that being said, um, Sid's character, uh, the comedy does not lie on him being South Asian. And I think that's the key difference. You know, we want uh, people and characters uh, from a diverse background uh, to live normal lives as they do in normal life, where, they're, um, where it, their identity is not centric upon some previous... Uh, uh, what do you call it? like uh, stereotypes. So I think uh, it's part of the evolution. Uh, someone like Sid, he could be, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, of any background and he'd still be real true and honest you know um that being said you can't shy away from uh you know your ethnicity and uh you have to you know because that's normal life so i think it's a fantastic step forward um and for me comedy is a completely new space so i love it well said well said you you said it best well hey congratulations for the complete of the second season can't wait for another season with you especially thank with you, you. and hey thank yeah. you thank you gig appreciate it hey thank you bye now